if you can tell me a little bit about the character you play and what attracted you to play James Hunt. Yeah, I play James Hunt, who's a Formula One driver in the 70s who kind of embodied the uh, the sex and the glamour and the fun of Formula One in that time and, and all the glory and, and what have you. Um, but it was also a pretty, uh, you know, contradicting kind of personality and contrast and, and had, uh, you know, there was a tabloid kind of image we had of him, but there was a whole other side to him, which was a insecurity and a vulnerability and a frustration at not being acknowledged for kind of, uh, you know, who he was or what he wanted to achieve or could achieve. And, um, and that fascinated me, you know, all those traits and, and, and the contrast in, in who this guy was and the story I found, you know, amazing and the fact that it was true and it wasn't fiction was even more kind of mind-blowing. Um, and Ron Howard directing the movie was, you know, pretty much the, <laughs> the reason initially I jumped in. Right. And um, because it was a real story, I mean, unlike Daniel, who was able to meet the man who he was playing, um, unfortunately you weren't able to, but how did you approach playing? Okay. Uh, you know, I just did uh, as much kind of research as I could and spoke to people who knew him and uh, read books on biographies on him and watched a lot of interviews and, and probably the most, um, the biggest kind of indication into who he was was the, the, the B-roll footage of, um, that the BBC had given us of, of interviews with James and outtakes of interviews where he's just kind of screwing around and having fun and, you know, making jokes and you see an insight into this guy was a kid, you know, he was a... Uh, is a fascination and then to the way he approached the world and an interest in things and an intrigue and um, and a real ownership of his environment. You know, just like young kids, they you know pick something up if they want that, good. If not, throw it away. On to the next thing. And he was like that, and, and that was um, you know a fairly refreshing sort of a, a attitude, especially to see in an adult. You know. And um, actually, what about the flip side? Uh, did you meet the real Nicky Lauda and? Did he give you any kind of interesting anecdotes kind of from the rival perspective? Uh, no, I didn't see him until literally a couple of days ago. I didn't get to meet him when we were shooting. And um, I saw him and I said, oh, you know, he was doing some, a bunch of press and what have you. And I said, oh, how's it all going? You having fun? No, nope, boring. And that was, uh, you know, I said, oh, what are you doing later? You know, I said, more of this bullshit. And, and that instantly kind of hit me. And I just thought, this is, this is the guy. You know, this is the undiplomatic, say it how it is, take it or leave it sort of attitude that both Daniel and I fell in love with, you know, doing this movie. Excellent. And um, so, you know, I know you've seen the film, and uh, when you saw it for the first time, what was the most surprising thing for you? Um, the sort of visual uh, element to this film, the way it's shot is just beautiful. Um, but the fact that it, you know, it wasn't just a Formula One movie, it was a, it was a movie about human beings, and. It's a real character study on these vastly uh, contrasting characters, and, and one was intuitive and visceral, and the other one was was a mathematician. The way he approached things, and um, just how kind of impactful I think that that, that 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 the whole story and the sort of emotion and glory and tragedy around that 1976 season uh, played. It was it was kind of you know I didn't expect to kind of be taken back like that, and. Um, that was a, you know, not often you, you know, do you get to experience that. It was cool. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Chris.